Welcome to the beginner's guide on how to navigate your first time through an airport. Airports can be overwhelming and confusing, but with a little preparation and knowledge, you can make your airport experience a smooth and enjoyable one. In this video, we will cover everything you need to know from arriving at the airport to boarding your flight. Let's get started. The best time to book a flight is from Tuesday to the midnight on Wednesday to get the cheapest flights for the week. Also, remember to use incognito mode each time you search for a flight. Using a VPN can also help you get a cheaper airfare. It is recommended to book a domestic flight about two months before the travel and an international flight from six to nine months before the departure date. The first thing you need to do is research your airline's baggage policy. Different airlines have different baggage allowances. So make sure you know what your airline allows and pack accordingly. Additionally, make sure to check if your airline charges for jacked bags. And if so, how much? This can save you time and money at the airport. Next, make sure you have all necessary travel documents. This includes your passport, visa if required, and any other travel documents. Double check that your passport is valid and not expired, and that you have the necessary visas for your destination. It's always a good idea to make copies of these documents and keep them in a separate place in case of loss or theft. Keep all your essential items in the carry-on bags. If you have more than one checked in bag, split your items half and half by putting half of, of your clothes in one and the other half in the other bag. Do the same for rest of the items. When planning your trip to the airport, make sure you give yourself enough time to get there. This will depend on the mode of transportation and the time of the day. If you're driving, check the traffic conditions and plan accordingly. If you're taking public transportation, make sure to check schedules and routes ahead of time. A basic rule of thumb is two hours before departure for a domestic flight and three hours for an international flight. When you arrive at the airport, follow the signs for your airline's check-in counter. You can also check in online before you arrive at the airport to save time. If you have checked baggage, head to the baggage drop-off area after checking in. After checking in, you will need to go through security. This can be the most stressful part of your airport experience. But with a little preparation, it does not have to be. Here are some tips to help you get through security quickly and efficiently. Make sure you're not carrying any prohibited items in your carry-on bag or on your persons. This includes liquids over 3.4 ounces, weapons and sharp objects. Check the TSA website for a full list of pro prohibited items. Wear slip-on shoes and remove any metal objects such as belts and jewelry before going through the metal detector. This will speed up the process. Make sure all liquids, gels and aerosols are in clear, quart-sized bag and easily accessible. You will need to remove this bag from your carry-on and place it in a bin for screening. Follow the directions of the TSA agents and be respectful of other passengers. If you are randomly chosen for additional screening, don't panic. This is the standard procedure. After going through security, check the departure board for your flight's gate number. Follow the signs to your gate, which will typically be located in a specific terminal or concourse. Most of the airports have big screens displaying your flight numbers and the departure times. Sometimes, the gate numbers are displayed only about two hours before the departure time. 
make sure to give yourself plenty of time to get to your gate as some airports can be quite large. Once you arrive at the gate, listen for announcement and pay attention to the boarding process. Your boarding pass will indicate your boarding group, which determines when you will board the plane. Typically, families with young children, first class passengers, and passengers with special needs board first. When it's your turn to board, present your boarding pass and any necessary travel documents to the gate agent. They will scan your boarding pass and direct you to your seat on the plane. During the flight, listen for the safety protocol of the aircraft. Make a note on where the toilet and other facilities are. Feel free to ask questions or ask for help. Remember to be courteous to other passengers by straightening your seat during meal times. Know if the food service is complimentary or paid. And if it is paid, ask for the mode of purchase. Closer to your landing, follow the instructions of the flight attendants and fill out any necessary customs and immigration forms. Upon arrival at your destination, follow the signs to customs and immigration. Newer airports might have pre-screening machines where you will be required to fill out all your travel information and take a photograph. These machines will then print you a copy to be presented with your passport and travel documents to the customs agent and answer any questions they may have about your trip. Collect your luggage from the baggage claim area. Most often, the flight number is displayed by the luggage belt on a TV screen. Sometimes, airlines will also announce the belt number while you are disembarking from the plane. Then proceed through customs. If you have a connecting flight, follow the signs to your departure gate and repeat the whole process for boarding your next flight. If this was your final destination, use the free airport Wi-Fi to figure out your next plan, such as booking a taxi or calling a friend for pickup or purchasing a bus ticket. Remember, there are information desks at each airport if you need help in figuring things out. Congratulations, you have successfully navigated your first time through an airport. Remember to give yourself plenty of time, pack accordingly, and be respectful of other passengers. With these tips, your airport experience can be stress-free and enjoyable one. Safe travels! For more useful travel tips like these, subscribe to my YouTube channel, My Travel on Dime, right now.